Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They make gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. Today I want to talk about class loadout slots and some ways that you can make a couple extra. Now we only have five available. I was hoping maybe we would get more loadout slots once you hit rank 55 and kind of onward. But as you can see up here in the top right corner, I'm already 122 and I still only have the five that we kind of had in game to begin with. So what you're going to need to do is click on your weapon, kind of like you're going to go to your you know, gunsmith and edit it out, change your class and whatever. But instead of going to gunsmith, just hit the primary weapon. Then you can see it pulls up the primary weapon select list that shows all the weapons, assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, LMGs, marksmen, snipers, and melee. And then beside each weapon, if you save a custom loadout, you will see it in the armory. So we click over here on the armory, you can see the XRKM4 the blueprint for the legendary uh, M4 that you get when you pre-order the digital copy of the game. And you can see the version that I have that is my suppressed M4 and my M4 without a suppressor that I have saved here. That way I can swap in between or in games, you know, uh, in between, you know, deaths or whatever the case may be. If I want to swap a weapon out, if I'm using it without a suppressor and I think, well, I need a suppressor on this gun, I can just hop over here and swap these out mid-game. That way you don't have to take up your five slots with a bunch of different you know loadouts for the same kind of weapon or you know if you want to use something that's not you want to save a loadout that's not here in these five you can do that as well if you go down to your armory you can kind of see everything that you have saved as you see here i have a kilo uh, a couple kilos uh, uh odin of course the scar the the two m4s and we're going to make another class just so you guys can see kind of how this works so we're going to go down here we'll just put this lmg kind of for example we'll go to the gunsmith we have these attachments here. Of course, this barrel and this red dot, we'll just throw those on there or have these on here just for an example. And as you can see up here under attachments and customize in the left-hand corner, it says save a custom mod. This will either be L1 or L2, depending on how you have your buttons mapped on your controller. You're just going to hit save custom mod. It will make you enter a name. We'll just call this M91. Then you're going to hit save modification. You will be brought to this screen right here. Then you will hit continue and you can kind of see that this has been saved in the custom armory slot. So here's what we're gonna do in game, just kind of show you as an example. Instead of having this weapon equipped, let's say I want to use that M91, but I changed it out and was using something else. We'll put the SA87 here. I'll hop in a game, I'll show you guys how to find your custom classes within the armory in game, so you guys will know real quick, and you can swap out to any, any weapon that you want to use at any time. All right, guys, now that we're in game, of course, we saved the SA-87 down here in this fifth slot. Let's just say, like I said, I want to use that other LMG class that I made. All you have to do is go to edit, click on the weapon once again, like we did in our uh, kind of edit class option in the main menu. And then you're going to find that weapon you want. Go over to the army, or armory, excuse me, click select, and then we're going to be back out in this area with this weapon. So then we can back out in the game. Of course, it's gonna take, you know, me loading in, of course, to have the weapon in my hand, but as you can see, there it is. Now you can do this anytime in game. Let's just say you want to go here. And I said, well, that's not what I want to use. I want to use my silenced M4 class. All you have to do is once again, come into your loadout, go to your gunsmith, or excuse me, go to the weapon, go up to whatever class you want, go to your M4 suppressed. Of course, it's gonna change out the next time you spawn in. Of course, if you want to do that with any gun in the game, like I said, guys, you can do this. Any of your edit loadouts, anything that you have saved within this edit class, within the gunsmith, you can see here, you know, within this section. So just make sure if you're making extra classes that you do this is the easiest way to do this. If I want to change to this AUG, I can do that as well. And then that way you can kind of change out, have extra class slots available without having to have, you know, the ones on the main screen. I know it's different than it used to be. We only have five available, but using the armory is one of the best ways to do this. And if you want to delete anything, I will show you really quickly how you can delete these classes. Let's just say you don't like one of the classes, you don't like one of the, you know, or something you have uh, created. All you have to do is go into the armory on the main screen and you can see all of your different classes that you have saved. And let's just say if you want to delete one for an example, I'm going to delete this one. You would hit X, you would hit delete, and it's going to remove it from your armory. So that won't be saved in your armory once you're in game. You will not see that little, you know, name beside that particular weapon. 
So guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope I kind of explained it well enough for you to understand. I know I was kind of rambling there for a minute, but anyway, I just want to let you know there is an option to have some more creative class slots. Now I have noticed you cannot have more than just a certain number of creative class slots. This could be an issue once you have a lot of different um, mods in here. You know, you've unlocked a different, different blueprints. This could become an issue to not be able to have a lot of these be able to be saved. I have noticed, like I said, once I can save one more M4 class, but then if I try to go in and, you know, make a different class or something else, like I was going to make the file, it would say I have too many things saved in my armory, so I'll have to get rid of something. But this will at least give you an option to make, I would say, four to five, maybe even six more classes that you can have just kind of saved in the armory to play, to use whenever you're playing if you want to change something out that's not in your primary five slots. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance, share the video. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.